Welcome back, you dingoes, and welcome to Season 5. I am king for this season, as the Aussies would say. We have so much talent in so many different positions, I legitimately think we can make a national championship this year. Now is a good time for me to let you know that this video is brought to you by Squarespace. But we'll hear more from them at halftime. So checking out the preseason top 25 polls, Ohio State is sitting at the top. UGF is at number 10, and the Dingoes are outside the top 25 at 30. Checking out the Heisman watch as well. So last year, Scott Olson won the Heisman, and right now he's at number two in the Heisman watch. USC's quarterback, Ryan McLaughlin, we play him later on in the season. He won the Maxwell last year, 30 touchdowns and five interceptions. Wow. Yeah, he's going to be pretty dang good. Yeah, he's probably NFL bound. I don't know if he'll stay for his senior season or what. Probably at that height. All Americans this year. Courtney Freund decided to stay for his senior year at UGF. He won the O'Brien last year, 36 touchdowns to six interceptions. He's got 90 throw power, 89 accuracy. 95 overall. Brian McBride's a first team All-American. I'm not surprised at all. I'm banking on him being like a top 10 draft pick. Cameron Tipton and Seth Burton as well. Actually kind of surprised with Cameron Tipton. He's not a high overall or anything. And of course, Adrian Felix at returner. So the conference outlook right now, we are actually projected to finish third in the Pac-12 South. Last year, we did beat Arizona, UCLA, and Colorado. We play them again this year, so they're going to be looking for some revenge. But I'm excited to also renew the rivalry with USC. And of course, California on the other side, I'm banking on them making it to the Pac-12 championship. They got freaking Antoine Poland, who might be the best quarterback in the country. So some people are saying that I should have redshirted Kevin Davidson. I thought that was kind of weird, considering he's the fourth highest rated quarterback in the entire country. And of course, Antoine Poland is at number one. So he's definitely draft eligible. He's a junior this year. Antoine Poland might be the first quarterback off the board with his all sorts of talent. Or maybe it's Brett Edwards, because I mean, look at his stats. 97 throw power, 99 accuracy. And he's got the stats to back it up too. Probably needs to work on his interceptions, but he's got 53 touchdowns in his career. John Evans is one of the best wide receivers in the country as well. If it all goes to plan, I'm expecting a lot of dingoes to be drafted this year. Brian McBride, the best left in in the country, and he's only a junior. Seth Burton, the best corner. But I mean, look at all the guys below him. Look at this speed, 98, 99, like geez. Dude, look at this safety, 99 overall Reggie Jones. He looks insane. He reminds me a lot of Rob Lewis, but what Rob Lewis is gonna be in like two or three years, 98 block shedding. Yeah, that guy's going top 10 as well. Antoine Polin, the highest rated player in the entire country. I hope we get to play him again this year. But to do that, I'm pretty sure we have to make the Pac-12 Conference Championship. So let's get it done. Here's a look at all the Patreon name changes. The only ones that are staying the same is Ike Bolden, Tyler White, and Tom Weaver. Very good class right here, top 10 in the country. So I got high expectations for all of them. So BJ Hale is the second highest rated coach in the country behind Gus Malzahn at Auburn. That's pretty unrealistic if you ask me. Championship contender is up to an A minus. So even NCAA thinks we can make the natty. Conference prestige boosted up because we joined the Pac-12. So now we're in the power five. Coach stability moves up every year. It's up to a B currently. Stadium atmosphere and should be lower, <laughs> but it's at a C plus. I'm expecting pro potential to boost up after this season. We got a lot of draft eligible players. So looking at our team needs this year, we need two wide receivers, a center, an outside linebacker, a middle linebacker, and two corners. Look at all the recruits I currently have on my board. I spent a lot of time in the offseason just by myself off camera trying to weed through the crowd and see what I could find. What we're looking at here is loads of speed. Jermaine Moore would be a blazing fast kick returner. He could also play quarterback, running back, maybe even some corner if he really wanted to. Doug Allen is basically a copy of Brent Edwards from last year, if you remember him. Blazing fast, got great elusiveness and juke and spin. I want him on the team. Chad Sears would be a spectacular receiver like 97 speed as a freshman. Imagine having that on the team to where it's just like, you put him on a streak basically every play and just watch him beat man-on-man -man coverage every time. Jonathan Glover's got a crazy good speed too, 96 speed as a freshman. But of course, we also got to look at linebackers. Clay Williams, 81 overall, very well-rounded, not the fastest in the world. Tyler Gross, he's anything but gross. Haven't really found the middle linebacker that I'm looking for yet. These guys are some decent options. Michael Arnold looks like an amazing corner. 92 man coverage as a true freshman. That's ridiculous. Oh man, I didn't even pay attention to Mario Reese. He's got 94 man coverage as a true freshman. Oh man, 99 acceleration. We found a winner. Yeah, throw him some points. Wow, I've never seen that from a true freshman. Steven Jones, number seven overall linebacker. I'm gonna go ahead and offer him a scholarship. He's that good. Ooh, 80 overall guard. Sign me up. Another one. Oh, yeah, definitely give them points. Oh, we're on a roll here. 80 overall outside linebacker. Man, he can cover. 
He's got good acceleration and speed. He can block shit. Yeah. Yes. He gets points as well. Oh, dang. 82 overall. 90 speed, 80 catching. That's spectacular. Dang, we're finding all these great receivers. So if you missed the offseason video, this is our schedule this season. So we're taking on Dick Boulder in this episode. He's coming back to the desert to play the Dingoes. Then we got Stanford, number four USC, Oregon State, number one Ohio State, UCLA, Arizona, Arizona State, Colorado, Utah, number 15 North Carolina, and then we finish off with our rivals, UGF. Easily the toughest schedule we've had so far. A freaking combined opponents record is 11-1. Oh, California lost in week one to Rice. Really, Antoine Pullen? You had to go and lose to Rice. Let's take a look at Duke's team. So they got a 90 overall free safety, right outside linebacker, and an 85 corner. Dick Boulder's their highest rated receiver. He's an 80 overall. Good for him. Wow, he's not put up a lot of numbers, though. That's for sure. Only six touchdowns total in his career. 99 catching, 93 route running, and 91 awareness. So he's very smart, and he doesn't drop the football. Assuming no one touches him. First game of the season, starting season five. This could be the year we make the run, people. Every moment's gonna be special, so you better be paying attention. Richard Boulder, it's his homecoming. Back in Death Valley. I'm sure he's not happy to be here. Probably because it's unbelievably hot. As usual. But nah, for real. I bet it's fun for him. I imagine if this was like real life, they'd have like a special ceremony for him just to honor him. We have no hard feelings against Richard Boulder. We love good old Dick. No pause. Oh, look, he's even at the coin toss, wearing number 86. That's awesome. Noah Rucker coaching his first game at Duke. Well, this is a terrible team to play for your first game. We're about to wreck him. Isolating Dick Boulder in single coverage over here on the left. But they're actually going to run it. Ryan McBride's thrown down. Grayson Burris has got to run across the field to tackle him. Oh, he's going on to the other side of the field. Henderson. And he beat me there. That was a nice move. They're going screen pass. Cody Spicer, nice tackle. Gonna go to the out route. Good hit. That's Rob Lewis's first tackle of his career. You could already see how physical he is. It was just a basic tackle, but he shoved that man to the grass. Screw it. We're gonna send Rob Lewis on a blitz here. He's dangerous. On the very next play, spook in the quarterback, and then we knock out the receiver. Cameron tipped in the senior leader. That's going to be a turnover on downs. Dingo football. I think the best way to start off offense this year. A little Corona read option. I'm going to hand it off to Adrian Felix. That was not my best running. John Evans. You know where we're going? The Jukes. That was so crispy. I want to try a little wildcat play with Adrian Felix. Oh, we got some great blocks, but not able to get to top speed. Oh, they're coming. Just drop this one short. Underhanded at him. I haven't seen that animation before. I like how we still have the Mountain West logo on our jerseys and the field, but we're in the Pac-12. That's probably just whoever made this team, and they put it like custom on the jersey, so there's nothing I can do to change it. Oh, no. I'll get rid of it. That's not where I wanted to go, but Cameron Beach is so fast. Holy crap. I'm surprised he didn't get that first down. We got Kenneth Hernandez back out on the team after his red shirt. Here we go on fourth down, plowing his way through. That'll extend the drive. How about a toss play? That did not work. Oh, John Evans all day. He's not going to drop it. I'm going to learn from my lessons and not throw it in the red zone. So we're going to hand this one off to Tyler Albert, who's going to spin around and almost fall into the end zone. You know what? After that effort, I think he earned a touchdown. Let's give it to him again. Bust through. He's actually losing yards. Well, that's disappointing. We're going to toss it to Adrian Felix. Just use your speed. Breaks the tackle. He's not in. It's fourth and goal. Well, time to call out the fullback. This is it. Don't fail me, guys. It looks like they're ready for it. I believe in you, Kenneth Hernandez. Get it done. He doesn't get it done. That's a goal line stand from Duke. You better believe we're coming in to sack this dude for his safety. Oh, it's a QB keeper. We tackle him, so we're still in range to get the safety. Oh, no, we can't get through. Cameron Tipton's all over this game. It's a screen pass. Rob Lewis tried to pick it off, but he's tackling him for a five-yard loss. Can we block it? We're right in front of him. Oh, my. We didn't block it. We're all on top of him. But the kick return. Is it possible? Dang it. 
35 is faster than he looks. We didn't score out last time. They got that goal line stand, but still deadlocked at zero. Oh, man. Oh, get rid of it. Yeah, lucky we didn't get sacked. That's a nice cut. That's a first down. Oh, man, I thought that cheeky cut was going to work. This one's for Felix. Doing okay. Oh, that one's for the tight end. Hold on to it, big boy. How is that not a touchdown? Give it to him. Fullback dive did not work last time, so I'm going QB sneak. Hopefully, Kevin Davidson just get over the pile. Leap over it. Finally, we're in the end zone. It's about time. First touchdown of the year for the Dingoes. Give me that. Somebody get through. Hit him. That's Brian McBride forcing the incompletion. That's going to be a fourth down. Oh, this is dang 35 again. He didn't make the tackle this time. We get a chance to reverse it again. Can I make that guy miss? Oh, that was so awkward. I should have stuck to the sidelines. Oh, we're going Matthew Paul. Make the juke. Oh, we got John Evans. Can he get that over there? Nearly picked. Guys had two chances at it. Oh, we're zipping it to Chris McAvoy. This one's for William Corona. Juke and buy him. Dragged into the end zone. We got another touchdown. 14 zip. We're breezing through this game. Oh, I'm coming for him. Oh my, he put his helmet right on his shin. That's got to be painful. First sack of Rob Lewis's career. Or oh, coming at him again. Oh, back to back. Two sacks already for Rob Lewis. You got to block that guy. He's basically another linebacker out there at 6'5". Now we're just going underneath. Hit him with that spin move. Over the middle, zipped it over everybody. Oh, that's John Evans all day. Oh, never mind. It's picked off. I didn't see the guy trailing. Boo. I wanted my touchdown. I thought he was wide open. Oh, he fumbled it. Brian McBride's got it. Go. Oh, he gets tripped up. We got 10 seconds. We're going to take a shot at the end zone. That's the new Juco transfer. Hunter Curate forcing the ball out. Back corner of the end zone. That's Herzner. Dragging the toes. We got a touchdown. That was such a pretty throw. And we already know Christian Herzner. He's in elite territory now. Oregon is putting a whooping on USC. Looks like they're not going to be number four anymore. So that's going to take us to halftime. We're up 21 to zip. We're looking like a championship football team right now. But now that it's halftime, let's hear from our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace, they're a bunch of legends. Not only are they supporting independent creators like myself, they are awesome at making custom websites and domains. Squarespace has the all-in-one platform. It was so easy to use, I made a dingo website in a few minutes. The templates are sophisticated yet so simple to use. You just fill in the blanks and you're good to go. One feature I thought that was pretty cool is it automatically converts to mobile so you don't have to do like extra coding to make it do that. So you can look at your dingoes straight from your mobile phone. They also have the ability to embed podcasts, set up email campaigns, integrate some sweet video backgrounds, and you don't need to be an expert to use it. Take my word for it. If you've been putting off making a website for whatever, reason take this opportunity to go to squarespace.com slash not the expert you'll get 10 percent off of your first purchase of a website or domain if you already have a website and you want to switch it over to squarespace you can do that i recommend squarespace i've been using their services for the past few years exclusively it's good quality and they support independent creators like myself so i can't thank them enough especially in times like this so thanks again to squarespace for sponsoring this video so Rob Lewis is really good. I got to say that, like, his user potential is insane. Even better, we get ball first and second half, so we're just going to continue the onslaught. First kick return of the season. Oh, the blocks are looking good. Looking good. Try to stay in bounds. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, man, I tried to go to the outside. McAvoy again. Oh, he's wide open. Corona toasted him. It's going to be his second touchdown of the game. His acceleration, one of the best on the team. Just look how he broke away from that kid. Embarrassed him. Oh, 
screen pass again. Rob Lewis on top of it again. This guy is so good. It's hard to believe this is Rob Lewis's first ever game. He's got eight tackles and two sacks, and we still have two quarters left to go. Oh, he nailed him. That could have been a third sack. Seth Burton tackling Dick Boulder, just like old times. Delayed handoff. We're coming at him. He's got to have nobody open. That's a pick. The freshman, Brandon Like. Second turnover of the game for the defense. First turnover of his career. Way to go, Brandon. We're going John Evans. Oh, he got the step back and guy just hit the deck. I'm sending that over the top. Oh, Christian Herzner. That could have been a touchdown for him. Well, they tackled him. Perone is taken off. Screen pass. Looks like it's going to work. Oh, they fumbled it. That's going to be their football. Was he down, though? Hopefully we get a review of it. Uh, it looks like he did fumble it. It was hard to tell at first, but yep, it's all right, Adrian Felix. Coach is not going to be happy, but he doesn't fumble too often. Oh, he's got nobody. That one's for Zach Roden. Oh, <laughs> he tried to get it off, but Brian McBride's stuffing him again. He's going over the top. That one's for Seth Burton. You can't test the best corner in the country. But, man, we are destroying Duke. Three turnovers for the Dingo defense. Zoom that. Adrian Felix, what a bomb. Nope, oh, John Evans just stopped in the end zone. Got himself a touchdown. Too easy. Oh, right as he caught it. His reaction time is insane. Oh, yeah, they keep going for the slant, but Cameron Tipton was ready for it. They're going to have to punt it once again. We got Tyler White in. We got Brian Andrews, Tom Weaver, all freshmen. Let's see what they can do. Pitches this one out, Tom Weaver. Trying to hit a step back. Going across the middle. Oh, Matthew Paul took a nasty hit. See how these backup old linemen do, too. Timbo slice at left tackle. Give me a good block here. On the edge, he sealed it up. That could be the one. Tyler White's going. That's going to be a touchdown. That is all to that O line. Everybody had perfect blocking right there. Tyler White, the true freshman quarterback, gets his first career touchdown here at DVSU. I'm telling you, these kids are young, but they have so much talent. Oh, Dick Boulder again. He's seriously the only one on the team who can do anything. No, he's not going to get it off. We sack him again. Five sacks for the team. Zach Roden second of the game. What the? Who is he throwing to right there? They must have deflected it. They're not even going to go for it. They just want this game to end 42 to nothing. Oh, Seth Burton's in out here. He muffed it, but he's going to get a return out of it. Can he beat the punter? Oh, such a narrow space to try and squeeze by, but it didn't work. Tyler White back at it again. It's a keeper for him once again. Oh, with the cut, that was so good. Another rushing touchdown for him. He might be a better runner than William Corona. Maybe it's too early for things like that, but that was still impressive. Oh man, look at our defense. Five sacks, two picks, a forced fumble. We're just ruining their day. Diving at him. Man, his tackle range is so far. Will he throw it at somebody? Yep. Over to Dick Boulder. They're moving the ball. No way. Oh, Seth Burton again. Oh, he's falling backwards. We're at the one-yard line. I'm okay with that, though. We're getting turnovers left and right. This is a blast. Just give me something. Give me some room to breathe. Oh, this one's for the running back. Brian Andrews with a good spin move. He's got some good moves. This one's for the old quarterback, Dean Young. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to shake him off. 
You're going short to the running back. Freshman to freshman. You're going short. This one's Zach Harper. Oh, man, that was a nasty juke. Put two people on the ground. Do we have blocks downfield? It looks like it. I just throw that past him. Oh, what a pretty pass. Oh, we're going up the middle. And the spin move. Is he not in? I'm getting robbed today. Tyler White's a beast. Let me see this one again. Perfectly timed spin move. He's got to be in. How is he not? I guess it doesn't matter. We can just hit him with the QB sneak right here and get him at his touchdown. But it's going to kill his yards per carry average. There you go. Third rushing touchdown of the game for Tyler White. If you didn't know, this guy's amazing. Five-star athlete playing like one. Yep, Oregon officially upsets USC. They're definitely going to drop down from number four. Swat that down. Brandon like again. He's having a great debut. Oh, he's trying to send it, but he's going to the grass. Hunter Curit at it again. Second sack of the game. Yeah, he's going to be short of it. What were they thinking? Going out of bounds to stop the clock for us, I guess. You got 52 seconds left to work with. We could just kneel it down, but that's less fun. Oh, look at Zach Harper giving us those blocks. Here goes Tyler White cutting back in on him. Oh, can he go? This one's going to be 90 plus yards. And it's going to be his fourth touchdown of the game. Tyler White is electric. He broke two records on the same play. That's the longest run in Death Valley State history. And he just tied the most rushing touchdowns in a single game. It's his freaking debut. I don't want to say starter because we still got Kevin Davidson, obviously. But man, when it's his time to shine, we're going to be something special. Oh, no. Don't let him get in field goal range. That's my worst nightmare. Oh, they're going to run it. He's going down. What do they call a timeout? He's going short. We stop him. Clock hits zero. The shutout is official. What a way to start the year. 63 to zip. We had a lot of fun doing it. Everybody getting involved. And how about Tyler White and Rob Lewis? These freshmen are something special. He did nothing wrong. No incompletions, no picks, nothing like that. I can see why this is a top 10 recruiting class. Stats on the game. Kevin Davidson, three touchdowns, one interception, 292 passing yards. Tyler White was five for five, 63 yards, no touchdowns, no picks. But on the ground, he absolutely dominated. He had seven carries, 184 yards for four touchdowns. You know, just casually, the longest run in Death Valley State history on only his seventh carry here. He had three runs over 20 yards. William Corona had a touchdown, and so did Kevin Davidson. John Evans had a pretty good day. Five catches, 78 yards, and a touchdown. William Corona got a touchdown, and so did Christian Herzner. Look at all the pancakes. Chris McAvoy, Timbo Slice. I, I definitely saw that one. That was when Tyler White scored his first touchdown. How about Zach Harper, too? I think he also got a pancake that let us get one of those touchdowns. So shout out to the O-line. They were working today. I can't overstate it enough. Rob Lewis is spectacular. 14 tackles in his debut. Two sacks. We had six sacks on this game. Two for Hunter Curate, two for Zach Roden, and two for Rob Lewis. We had three interceptions. Two for Seth Burton and one for Brandon Like. We also forced a fumble thanks to Hunter Curate. He had an awesome debut as well. Brian McBride. Right, scoop that up. Out him to a donut. I think that's the first time, if I can remember correctly, that I ever got a shutout on YouTube. We had 646 yards of total offense. That is a sign you've got a championship caliber team on your hand. <laughs> Ohio State lost to Oregon State. What is going on? That's pretty cool. Dick Boulder got player of the game for him. But our two freshmen got player of the game for us. <laughs> Rob Lewis got NCAA player of the week. He deserved it. So here's the top 25 polls now. Pittsburgh is the new number one. UGF is at number five. And we are receiving 137 votes. So despite us absolutely murdering Duke, we do not slip into the top 25 just yet. Man, we're right now we are ranked number one in a lot of categories. Points per game, total offense, and rush defense. We're a scary football team. I wouldn't want to play us right now, and that's why Kirk Herbstreet's going with the Dingoes next game. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you are as excited as I am for the rest of this season because this team is special. You're all legends in my book. And as for me, I am Drew Morris, the old Drewski, not the expert. And I'll see all you guys in my next video. Peace.